Nick Sandler from Rushmore Painting and Decorating bringing you a product review on behalf of Trade Decorator. The product we're going to be talking about today is the Bagar Airless G. I'm going to be giving you a few things about this product I really like and then show you a bit of footage of me using it on the job uh, and just generally giving you an overview of the product as well. But before we get stuck into the review, please hit the like button, comment down below if you've used it or haven't used it and you want to know about it and just generally want to talk about it, then hit the comments. Hit the subscribe button for the channel as well and also hit the notification bell so that any videos we upload in the future you will be notified of them immediately. So the Bagar Airless G, although the name states airless, it is actually a kind of all-rounder product. It can be used for airless application and it can be used in um, the majority of, of hand applications as well, whether that's rolling it on like a skim coat, working straight out the tub and putting it on the wall with some, some knives or um, taping machines, you know, like tape boxes and all, all of that sort of stuff as well. So it's a very versatile product. It's got five mil depth capabilities and it's a kind of just a general all-rounder um, for, for most applications really, um, as, as, as you would imagine. So the job where I used it for the first time was actually the first time I'd ever used not only this, but also done spray plastering as well. So I was jumping in at the deep end. I was very nervous. I was a bit, you know, skeptical, um, but I kind of, I said yes to it um, in the sense that I've, I've had experience with skim coating and uh, skim coating over Artex and just and also airless spray as well. So I was kind of merging all three or four together and just kind of going in blind, but also with a little bit of confidence in the fact that I've done it in other ways before. So I went into this job, it was an Artex ceiling, it got tested for asbestos, it came back positive. It may have only been traced, but I didn't want to risk it and neither did the customer. So. I needed a product that could go over the Artex in two applications without having to sand the Artex to start with, um, which this was because of the five mil depth capabilities. Um, and just, I'm gonna show you a video now of the kind of start to finish and, and through the processes and things like that. And you'll see what we started with and, and the end result at the end um, and, and how good it looks. So take a look at the video now.
And as you can see, the overall result was absolutely fantastic. I was blown away by the product itself and how it finished and how easy it was to use. And so was the customer, the end results were absolutely fantastic. And I don't think they expected it to be as good as it was. So I'm going to give you four things about the Bagar LSG that I really like. And the first thing is that it's just very easy to use. It's a really nice product to use. There's no trouble when you're working with it, whether that's via airless sprayer or just general hand application, because I'm using it on the job at the moment, just filling bits and pieces and skimming out areas and whatnot. And in, in both applications, it's been absolutely fantastic. And you can get such a really nice finish off of the knife um, once it's been applied to the wall and, and you've worked it around a bit with the knives. The actual amount of sanding you have to do at the end is minimal because you can get it to a very, very smooth finish off of the knife. So it's very easy to use. The second thing I really like about it is that it sands down really easily. If there are any issues when you have to put it on maybe a bit thicker for whatever reason, to work it down with the sander, it's not hard at all. It's a, it's a very easy product to sand. The third thing I really like about it is the kind of the overall finish once it's been sanded. It's a very tight finish. It's not granular and, and chalky and, and dusty. It feels almost like a traditional plaster. Once the surface has been sanded with a 240 grit, uh, 320 grit, or whatever it may be, and clean down with a dust mop. Once you feel that surface, it's absolutely stunning. It, it honestly feels as close to a traditional thistle plaster as you're gonna get from a, a ready mix compound. The fourth thing I really like about it is that it just dries very quickly. So when you're going onto like the spray plaster side of things, um, when you're maybe getting a thicker, thicker build on, I was able to get that uh, spray plastered ceiling finished um, from first coat to uh, final coat in about three days. Um, the thickness of the first coat was a lot. I was probably pushing it to its absolute max. It was probably at five mil max on you know the, the first um, base coat on the Artex. The second coat, I thinned it down a little bit more and was able to go on just a bit thinner because it was more just to kind of level things out and, and finish it off. But it dried overnight with some fans on it. It dried overnight. And then over the weekend came back and I was, I was ready to spray uh, the paint on on the final day. Uh, and that's the beauty of the, uh, the Bagar LSG as a spray plaster. You're able to turn jobs around a lot quicker. Um, so there are a few things I really like about it. Uh, just to give you an overview of like the price and things like that, because this is probably the only kind of downside to it is that it is a little bit more pricey than a traditional thistle plaster. I'm not sure what thistle plaster there is exactly per bag, but I know it's nowhere near as much as this. Um, so 25 kg in a bucket like this, I think, although they're not easy to find on, online, I think they're about the 22 to 24 pound ish. I could be wrong. We'll put the exact price on the screen now if we can get a hold of it, but it's around that kind of margin. Um, and then you can also get this in a bag as well. So if you are going down the spray plaster route, it would be more economical to get bags um, if you wanted to just get a few bags or a whole pallet, depending on the size of your product, uh, your project, you get the bags and obviously with a spray plaster machine, you can get these big hoppers which have roller, uh, bag rollers on and you can squeeze out all the product into a big hopper, it funnels through to the machine and you don't have to worry about going to the machine every few minutes and changing a bucket over or emptying loads of buckets out and things like that. It just gets a bit messy and complicated because I just worked out the buckets and even I found it a bit faffy at times, swapping over buckets and, and things like that. So if you're going to be doing it uh, long term as a proper kind of uh, service the bags would be a, a good option and I think they're about 18 pounds a bag so they're a lot cheaper five five or six pounds cheaper than uh, the buckets but still considerably more than a, a traditional thistle plaster so that's kind of the downside to spray plastering along with the fact you've got to buy a spray plaster machine um, but you've got to remember that you get a, a much much quicker turnaround with the, the, the spray plastering and especially the Bagar Airless G as well one thing to mention as well, you don't need to prime this. Once it's been sanded and it's dried and ready for, uh, for painting, maybe thin the first coat down a smidgen, but you don't need to thin it down in the sense that it's like a mist coat or you don't need to apply a specific primer. You can just go straight on with your, your, your paint that you're going to be using on the surface. So that's actually a, maybe a fifth um, good thing about the, the Bagar LSG as well. So yeah, that's kind of a, an overview of the product, as I said. I'm using it on this job and I'm going to continue using it in, in many ways, um, whether that be spray plastering or hand application or skim coating with rollers and things like that, whatever it may be. I'm a very, um, very impressed with this, with this product and um, it did not disappoint. So the overall kind of mark out of 10 for this, it has to be a 10 out of 10. I really don't see any downsides to it. 
um, you know, maybe except for the price, but I've been buying ready mix fillers out of buckets for years anyway, and they're equally as expensive. So for me, it's not a downside, I factor it into the job. That's not a problem at all. So 10 out of 10 for the bag art, airless. G, um, as I said before the video started, or as I started the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell. And if you've got any questions, queries, or comments about this product or the video in general, then go down below and let loose. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.